There will be no pre-testing or quarantining of visitors to Jamaica when the island reopens its borders for international travel on June 15. Instead, safety measures are being implemented at ports of entry. Montego Bay Jamaica Airports Limited appears to be ahead with its preparation already in its final stages, according to its chief executive officer, Shane Monroe. Some changes that you will see on arrival to the airport when you are departing is that in the check-in area we'll have the traveling public uh, only and airport staff entering the check-in terminal or where the traveling public has reduced mobility we'll accommodate persons to assist them but we're going to ask friends and well-wishers not to enter the check-in area. The reason we did this move is to enforce the physical distancing, a measure required to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and to reduce congestion in the terminal building. We have, as mentioned on the screens, the signage for best practices, social distancing, the mandatory use of masks that will be required for everyone entering the airport. And then we also have the signage on the floor, the decals to help persons in terms of physical distancing, spacing. And this continues throughout the airport terminal at our boarding pass checkpoint, at the gates, at the baggage service desk. You will see the same at immigration and customs as well. All arriving passengers will also be screened with thermal temperature scanners. Monroe says the passenger traffic is expected to be low at first, but numbers will gradually increase, allowing administration to fine-tune processes. We took advantage of this downtime to carry out certain maintenance activities that would have otherwise proved disruptive, and we pushed on some of our construction programs. Um, again, they would have otherwise been disruptive and we thought it's a good time to take advantage of the downturn. Jamaica closed its borders on March 24 to flatten the curve of the coronavirus.